Big Bees Daily Vlogs. I think no matter where I go in San Francisco, it's always going to be windy. But I try to fix that by adding a little something. But today, I'm inside Golden Gate Park to touch on what we talked about yesterday. Spreckles Lake. Named after the once commissioner, Adolf Spreckles. Let's get this started. We interrupt our program to bring you this important message. Welcome everyone, it's my daily vlog channel, Eric B's Daily Vlogs. Here, Spreckles Lake, Golden Gate Park. A little windy, a little on the breezy side, but it's not as bad as it was yesterday when I was over at Pacific Heights. You guys can see from behind me, look at all the birds. Should I run through them? Should I run and scare them? No, I'm not, because I'm not a fool. But today, we're going to go around this lake, talk about the history of this lake. We're going to walk all the way around Spreckles Lake in honor of Adolph Spreckles, the Golden Gate Park Commissioner back in 1904, when this was dedicated to him. They got some yacht boat boating over on the other side. We'll see if they're doing that today, too. So let's go walk around this lake and let's go check this out. Let's go. Let's go. And just a brief history on this lake. 7.8 million gallons, 23.9 acres, 23,000 liters of non-drinkable well water is right in here. 36th Avenue is the outer part of the Richmond going that direction, up that way. And you have the lake right here, again, dedicated 1904 January 14th by the Park Commission to the Park Commissioner President Adolf Sutro and this is one giant lake and those people over there are feeding the wildlife which they're not supposed to be doing. Yesterday's vlog was a pretty cool vlog because I was up in that neighborhood and if you guys have been watching the news or in the media that neighborhood has been getting a lot of flack lately so for me to go over there and to actually do a vlog up there it was pretty cool, but today we'll continue the Adolf Spreckles story. Did you hear that? You can hear the water running down there. It's coming from somewhere and going straight to the lake. And look at that right there. Looks like a turtle. Not sure if that was done on purpose, but it's rock sticking out it looks like a turtle from far away you think it's a turtle but it's not a turtle it's just a rock again we're gonna walk around the lake just just because just because and again you have these people right here who are not supposed to be feeding wildlife if you go over to Stowe Lake they got a big sign and I'm pretty sure somewhere here there's a sign as well that says, please do not feed the wildlife, keep them in their natural habitat. And these people are not listening. Well, I can't say they're not listening because you got all the wildlife right, right behind me over here. There's no signs here stating that they can't feed the wildlife. So if there is a sign, it's nowhere around them. So I guess I can't blame them. I guess I can't, but this is a pretty huge lake. We're gonna walk around it. We're gonna walk around it and we gotta be careful because of things like this. That's these duck feces. They like to come up here and do their business in front of everybody. So I gotta make sure that I'm not walking on that. But this part of the lake, I'll tell you the history of this part of the lake right here. You see the little buoys over there in the distance that goes around. This part of the lake, if you come here on the perfect time of the day, usually in the morning when it's not as windy. You see a lot of P 
people here with model boats, model boats, model yachts, and they come around here and they launch their boats. Came out here one weekend just to go check it out. It was pretty cool. They, yeah. These people have a lot of stuff that they put into it. And there's actually that building over there in the distance is where they house some of the model boats. But this is a cool place to check out. It's called the Yacht Model Boat Yacht Club in here. And if you can see how long this lake is, it's probably as big as the mansion that we saw yesterday. And they got a hot dog stand. Oh no, something you don't know about me. I am a sucker for hot dog stands. Only way to get back on this economy is to help the economy. Hot dog stand here at Golden Gate Park. If I go to, ever go to New York or any of those places that has hot dog stands, oh my God, I'm gonna go broke. But I see a bench in the distance. I'm gonna go sit over there and eat this hot dog. Here are the rules if you do plan on launching a boat out this direction. Pretty cool. It's pretty cool how the, they have rules. And again, all out this way is where they do it. But I need to get to my bench so I can eat this before it gets cold. Not a food review whatsoever, but man, look, at, I asked them for a ketchup and sauerkraut. I gotta hook it up. Definitely cool. All beef hot dog. Checking out Spreckles Lake. Eight off Spreckles Lake to be at that. Again, you guys don't know the history of eight off Spreckles. In yesterday's vlog, I talked about how his son, Klaus Spreckles, founded the sugar company here in California and ventured out over into Hawaii because Hawaii had a lot of sugar canes. And the rumor has it that's where the CNA sugar started. C could have been for California, could have been for Klaus. But Klaus also has a little dedication for himself here in Golden Gate Park, the musical concourse. The big auditorium is dedicated to him, Klaus Spreckles, because of his dad, Adolf Spreckles. I was so excited to get a hot dog cart hot dog that I forgot to get some napkins. Rule number one, get napkins. Rule number two, get napkins. The whole time I was sitting here eating this hot dog, just kept staring out there, watching the light bounce off the lake. You see the sun getting ready to set off Adolph Spreckles Lake. Pretty peaceful. Pretty peaceful. Here's one of those lakes that I've always known has been here. I've always drive around this area. When you drive around Golden Gate Park, you know this lake is here. It's the first time that I actually walked around this whole lake and checked it out. And it's pretty cool. It's pretty cool. And I hope the wind is not as loud as it was yesterday. I did add a little muff around the mic. We'll see if it does the job. Let's continue to walk. The water murky green not something I think you want to put your hands in or do anything like that they do have a lot of ducks and seagulls that are in the water you can see them in the distance over there so not something I think you want to bring your kids here and have them enjoy you can go, come around here and walk around the lake 
like I'm doing. But man, again, look at the way the, the light just bounces off right over there. I think that's pretty cool. If you ever plan to come here, this is the far west, western part of Golden Gate Park. Fulton Street is the closest street to here. 36 and Fulton. Look how high the water is coming up here. You see all the debris right up there. Careful where you walk, especially on a windy day like today. But yes, Fulton Street is a street just on the other side over there. So if you're ever planning to come here, Fulton Street, they do have parts of the park that is closed to traffic. So you'd have to come in through Fulton, through 36, and make your way to check out the Spreckles Lake. And look at these fowls. These are the ones that have no fear. These are geeses or geese. What's plural of goose? It's geese, not geeses, but these guys have no fear. Like I'm gonna walk right by them right now. Oh, one jumped in. The other one is like, yeah, keep walking, buddy. All here at Spreckles Lake. I did a week once of lake monsters or lake creatures that could possibly be in these lakes. Touched on a few lakes here in San Francisco and didn't realize how big this lake is. So, totally missed out on Spreckles Lake that time that I did the Lake Monster Week. And look how far I've gotten. Check this out. I was all the way over there at the hot dog stand. And luckily I came here when I did because he's tearing down. Big white truck next to it. The guy letting him know it's time to go. Made my way all the way around. I gotta walk this hot dog off somewhere. It's probably the best place to do it. It's probably the best place to do it. Keep changing it out between active and standard. And when I'm walking like this, I got the active on just so you don't see too much bounce. You'll see some bounce because I'm walking, but not too much as you would if I had it in standard. Check out these geese. Not geeses, but check out these geese. They're swimming in formation, just like as they would fly. So it would fly formation and the pack, what do you call a pack of geese? Is that a flock? I know there's a flock of seagulls. Is this considered a flock also? But they're all scattered through this lake. I wonder if anyone ever tried eating a geese. What does a geese taste like? What does a goose taste like? This could be a lake that could have some kind of monster in it. Maybe I shouldn't walk too close. Maybe I should walk this way and not too close to that. I was gonna watch if this kid that just passed me right there was gonna actually fall into it because he was tight roping the edge as I was walking towards him. So I was gonna see if he was actually gonna fall in. And this is that part of the lake that has a lot of geese poop. It's like walking through a minefield. Geese poop. Geese poop. Is, the, is it still focusing on my face? It's a perfect camera, man. I love this camera. I am glad I went to this camera. But this, that I just walked around, almost the entirety, Spreckles Lake. Another flock over here. And as I walk through these guys right here, I wonder what's gonna happen. Oh, I feel like I'm in an Alfred Hitchcock movie. Feels like I'm in an episode of an Alfred Hitchcock. Whoa, look at those two. They're going at it. I'm gonna have to walk around them. Because these guys, when they're hungry, especially these seagulls. Wait, is this a flock of seagulls? If you guys didn't know anything about 80s music, that was a joke. That was a joke. All right, guys, one last look. Adolph Spreckles Lake, dedicated to him in 1904 when he was the Golden Gate Parks commissioner, 
president, the owner, the original owner of the Spreckles Mansion up there in Knob Hill, who's now the proud owner of Daniel Steele. But this is a nice lake. I walked around it. I definitely walked off that hot dog. And I'm glad they're gone because I would have been tempted to get another one. But this is Golden Gate Parks, Spreckles Lake. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today's vlog. A nice adventure in Golden Gate Park. I got to stop saying quick adventure because every time I say quick adventure and I do my edits and I see that it's like 20 minutes in, it's never a quick adventure anymore. Used to be a quick adventure, but not anymore. But a nice adventure here at Spreckles Lake at Golden, inside Golden Gate Park, Fulton Street. 36 and Fulton is right there. So if you're ever in the area, you want to visit this lake, check out this lake. I'm actually happy I came out to visit this lake. I'd never come this far out of Golden Gate Park. I'm usually just staying within the musical concourse side, but I'm glad I came out. This is a rich part of San Francisco history. It's been here since 1904 because of a man who started a sugar factory, eh, sugar factory, sugar, whatever you want to call it, here in San Francisco. Pretty cool. Adolph Spreckles. Thumbs up. Don't forget to leave me comments down below. Like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below. Again, any parts of San Francisco you want me to come visit, there has been a couple comments. If you leave me comments, don't just throw a comment like someone threw a comment, Vallejo and York. Tell me why you want me to go to Vallejo and York. Tell me why. Don't just go Vallejo and York. I'm going to go to Vallejo and York and I'm going to be like, what am I looking for here? What's in Vallejo and York that I need to look for? Tell me why you want me to go to Vallejo and York. Give me a reason why that's something you want me to go check out there. So if there's anything in San Francisco you want me to check out, let me know. I'll definitely go hit that area, definitely go talk about it and see what else we can do or we can do in that area. A thumbs up, like, comment, and subscribe. Leave me comments down below. Until tomorrow, the adventure will continue. Here from Spreckles Lake at Golden Gate Park. Thanks for watching. Vlog's ended. Go in peace. This is something where the camera doesn't do justice. You definitely have to come out here, your naked eye, and check this out. Don't be naked. Just come out here with your naked eye. I think I stepped on some geese crap. Jesus. I made this.